Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. And with me getting so many new subscribers on this new channel, and a lot of people who aren't really familiar with my work, aren't familiar with the ideas I put out, or a lot of the other individuals from the same schools of thought and exercise science who put out the same material, I'm getting a lot of questions about leg day. And it's something that annoys me a bit is even when I see people post online all the time and memes and Facebook posts and people talking about their leg day and how they're so sore afterwards and how they threw up or almost threw up on their leg day. And, and the reality is the whole concept of that is so ridiculous because if you're getting sore or you're getting DOMS regularly from any sort of training and you have been lifting more than about six to eight weeks consistently, there's probably something wrong with your program. And what we usually find with things like a leg day, because you're training legs once a week, once every five days, four days, depending on what sort of split you're running, you're not training them frequently enough. So that's contributing to DOMS. Infrequent training contributes to DOMS. And then most guys, because they train them so infrequently, they're coming in and they're doing like 15 sets. They'll come in and do four sets of squats, four sets of leg press, some hack squats, leg extensions, leg curls, all the stuff that they don't need when in reality, when you go look at a lot of strength athletes who actually have better legs and bodybuilders, and myself included, you guys have seen my legs enough to know that there are bodybuilders carrying the same amount of lean muscle mass as me who have dramatically less leg development, who are on plenty of drugs. Some of them on quite a bit more than I would use. And I won't downplay genetics there, but we see this a lot with strength athletes who have very tremendous leg development, better oftentimes than bodybuilders, both quad and hamstring. Most of us don't do all these secondary exercises. We don't have leg days. When we train, we train. A training day means that you squat. And a lot of us build our legs completely off of squatting and pulling with a barbell, nothing else. And I do the same. And that's the reality is for most people, you don't need all this extra accessory work. You shouldn't ever need to come in and do 15 sets to where you have DOMS and you're throwing up and you shouldn't be spacing your leg training out that far or you're not going to get particularly good leg development. And this whole concept of the leg day and the infrequent training comes from the ultra heavily enhanced bodybuilding world where people with amazing genetics who are on very large amounts of drugs more so than most people would be willing to take who do use steroids. And people forget that, that there's a wide variation in drug doses. The average steroid user doesn't use that much gear compared to a lot of the guys that you're thinking of who are massive. And so you start combining their genetics with the high drug doses, they get away with this infrequent leg training. And it's not going to work for the vast majority of people. And so this whole concept of a leg day is in and of itself what causes people the DOMS and the throwing up and it ultimately leads to inferior leg development. If you really want amazing legs, you should probably be squatting or doing some sort of deadlift, but particularly the squatting every time you're at the gym or at least almost every time you're at the gym. And your, your focus needs to be on a couple of primary mass building movements and accessory work is everything else, and accessory work is always optional. It should be used as needed, and even if you need an accessory movement, even for a person who is squatting three times a week, four times a week, five times a week, if they have an accessory movement that they need for a muscle imbalance for their lower body, it isn't necessary for them to do it every time they train or do it every time they even train those body parts. If for whatever reason you feel that you need more hamstring development and you're doing a glute ham raise, you don't have to do it all the time. You come in and do it once a week and it will still help you with that lagging weak point. There's no need to hammer accessory movements all the time. Put your effort into the big heavy movements, do them frequent, do them often. And a lot of these DOMS issues and soreness that everyone has goes away and things like your legs will get a lot bigger and more developed. And so for people asking me questions about leg day, I've started replying to a lot of these new people, what the fuck is leg day? Because it's not really in my vocabulary. It's not something that I work with with myself or with people I've worked with in the past. It's not something that's part of any sort of training system that I advocate of having a leg day. So hopefully I haven't offended too many newer fans when I make those type of snide comments because they probably really aren't familiar with my philosophy there. All right, guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.
but let me give you guys a bicep shot before I go. There you go so you can see it. 